guys, welcome back to another video, and today I have yet again another Spin Master Monster Jam haul for you guys, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing four trucks. Um, I mentioned it in my video from yesterday where I also unboxed and reviewed another four trucks, which if you guys didn't check that video out yet, uh, make sure to go check that one out after this. That was uh, four fire and ice trucks, but these four that I have here today are uh, two different demolition doubles packs from Mix 3. Um, there is four demolition doubles packs in the mix, so I have two down and two to go. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into it now without further ado. So here is the back of the first package. This is not one of them. Uh, this is the Rottweiler and Dalmatian. Now they did have this, but I didn't get it yet because um, I, I found this at Target, by the way, both these two packs at Target, and uh, I'm sure that this pack is going to be uh, a peg warmer eventually at my local Walmart, so I'll get it eventually. And then the other two packs that I didn't get um, was not there at all, and I'll, I'll let you guys know which one that is um, once I get there. So that means this is either Radical Rescue and Earth Shaker, Ice Cream Man, and Monster Mutt, or uh, Octonator and the Nitro Neon's Dragon, because those are the other demolition doubles from this mix. So anyways, which one do you guys think it is? It is the Octonator and Nitro Neon's Dragon. Super happy to finally have these two trucks, especially the Octonator. That truck is amazing. And yeah, there's like a lot of hair on the packaging, as you guys can see. But yeah, that truck is really good. So oh uh, yeah, what do you guys think the second package is? I'll show you the back of it. Um, this one actually has the Octonator and Nitro Neon's Dragon on the back. So that means that this one is either Ice Cream Man and Monster Mutt or Radical Rescue and Earth Shaker. Which one do you guys think it is? It is the Radical Rescue and Earth Shaker. Uh, so yeah, those are the two Demolition Doubles packs that I got. I really wish that they had the um, Ice Cream Man and Monster Mutt because those two trucks are pretty cool. But unfortunately, they didn't have it there. I'll get that one eventually though. Hopefully they have it at my... Uh, local Walmart soon, but if they don't have it, uh, sooner than later, I'll just get it from eBay, probably, eventually, but, um, anyways, now let's jump into the unboxing, we're gonna start with the Nitro Neon's Dragon and Octonator, so here we go. Alright, so obviously, the trucks that come in the Demolition Doubles packs do not come with accessories, as you guys, I'm sure, know that by now, so, uh, yeah, with these two trucks here, we're gonna start... I'll uh, reviewing the worst of the two, which is the Nitro Neon's Dragon. Although this is a cool truck, obviously it's not as cool as Octonator, I'm sure you guys realize that. And the sun is actually just peeking through the window now more, so it's actually good now, so we can uh, make this a better review. So, um, yeah, this is, I believe, the third different dragon they've made so far. They made the regular one, which is just like this, but black tires and uh, black rims. No, no, red rims, I think. Yeah, red rims, I believe. And then the other one is the one with the uh, yellow roll cage and chrome rim. So this is the third dragon already in three mixes. I hope they don't end up overusing this truck like Mattel kind of did, but uh, it's still a very cool truck nonetheless. So anyways, um, obviously this is the Nitro Neon. So it has golden rims and then uh, green tires. Now these green tires are a little bit darker than the Nitro Neon's Grave Digger that I've already reviewed in a uh, separate video a while back. But uh, yeah, I don't have that with me at the moment. It's in a bag on the other side of the room, so I'm not going to get it out but these ones are a little bit darker. Then we have a black roll cage. Uh, the base is chrome, just like on the majority of the Spin Master trucks. And then the actual truck, uh, th the casting on this is amazing. I mentioned this when I first reviewed uh, the regular Dragon a couple months back. The, the casting on this is one of the best they've done so far. Uh, the the mouth there with the f uh, flames coming out of it, and the eye, and the Monster Jam logo there where it says Dragon, the wings, and everything. They did a very good job on this. Um, here's what it looks like on the back. The other side, again, we got the mouth of the uh, flame coming out that says Dragon. They did a very nice job with this one. One of my favorites so far of the year. This one uh, originally came out, the Dragon originally came out in a Demolition Doubles pack in Mix 1 with uh, Purple Jester, I believe. So yeah, this is the top right here. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that is the Nitro Neon's Dragon. Uh, here is one last look at it. I hope you guys like that truck. If you guys don't have this two-pack already, I recommend you get it because it is very nice and especially because of this one, Octonator. Um, so I'm sure you guys have probably seen the render of this. There's been multiple photos of this truck uh, going around like a render of it, but it has not actually became a real-life truck yet. Like I said, there's a render of it, so like there's pictures of a... Uh, um, like a prototype, I guess you could say, for the actual truck, but it has not actually competed yet in Real Monster Jam, and nobody knows um, if it ever will or not, but since they were supposed to reveal a new truck at World Finals, we thought that it might have been Octonator, but it ended up just being a ripoff of the 25th anniversary truck, which I'm sure you guys know, but anyways, here's the actual review, so uh, let's, we'll start with the rims, which is like a maroon color, just like the actual body of the truck is, then a black roll cage and chrome base, just like on Dragon. So yeah, on the actual truck, we have the Monster Jam logo, and this is another very, very cool um, uh, mold, or whatever it's called, 
uh, concept. Like the mold on this is very nice, just like Dragon, Pirates, Curse, Megalodon. Those ones all, they did a very good job with them. All the detail, like look at the detail on the side there. It looks amazing, as you guys can see. Here's the back right there, and then the other side. The detail in this truck is really, really good. Spin Master seems to never disappoint yet. There's really no complaints yet so far with Spin Master. I mean, maybe a couple very minor things here and there, but that's just what, I mean, every company has a couple minor things that they're not good at, at least. So, uh, yeah, there's the top right there, and yeah, that is Octonator. Um, by the way, all four of these trucks, along with the four that I unboxed yesterday, will be debuting in the next sign-up series, uh, Series 176. So, yeah, that is the Octonator in Nitro Neon's Dragon 2-pack, but we still have one more 2-pack to open. It is the Radical Rescue and Earthshaker, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so, I'll put all the garbage off to the side, just like I did with the other two-pack. And, uh, yeah, here are the two trucks, Earthshaker and Radical Rescue. Now, if you guys saw my video from, I don't know when it was, four or five days ago, I think it was, when I um, unboxed and and reviewed um, all the trucks from Mix 3, uh, Earthshaker was one of them, and this is the exact same truck, but the only difference is that this one has yellow rims, and the one from the singles in this mix has uh, black rims, so I guess I will start with reviewing this one first. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth, because, like I said, I already reviewed this truck with the black rims that came in singles um, a few days ago. Ago, like I said, like it was four or five days ago. It's two videos ago uh, from this one. So, anyways, like I said, the uh, rims are yellow here, and then black roll cage, chrome base, and then on the side, the detail in this truck is amazing. Though it says Earth Shaker, and of course, you got like the dirt crumbling right there, and then uh, the Monster Gem logo right there, and the dirt in the back right there is what makes this definitely stand out compared to the Mattel version. The dirt makes it seem even more realistic than it already is. So that's just amazing. And then on the back, it actually says MonsterGem.com right there. As you guys can see, then we got the Monster Gym logo, and it says Earthshaker. And, of course, we have the caution tape going around the whole top of the truck and the sides um, on the front right there where it says Earthshaker on the hood. There is the top, by the way. And, uh, yeah, that is Earthshaker. There is one last look at it. So I now have two different Earthshakers, the one in the singles with the black rims, and now this one that came in the doubles with the yellow rims. So yeah, that is three trucks down, and the fourth and final truck to review is the Radical Rescue. So this truck is very, very cool. We saw this truck debut in... And sorry about that, guys. I accidentally stopped recording because it had low storage, but I just deleted some stuff off my iPad, so we should be good to go now. But anyways, as I was saying, we saw this truck debut uh, last year in 2018, but Spin Master has already blown Mattel out of the park with this truck. Uh, this truck, it looks way better than the Mattel version. I mean, maybe not way better. I'd say Radical Rescue is one of Mattel's better trucks, actually, but still, um, nonetheless, this truck is definitely better than the Mattel version we saw last year. So obviously, just like on actually all four of these trucks, Black Roll Cage and Chrome Base, now this one also has yellow rims just like on the earth shaker so yeah it says radical rescue on the side this is obviously based off of a fire truck if you guys did not know i'm sure you did though but uh, yeah it says radical rescue right there basic truck but i like it uh the design on it and the mold is very very nice it says monster gem right there the monster gem logo and then there's what the back looks like and then the other side also says radical rescue and uh yeah then the top as you guys can see, kind of makes it look like a fire truck a little bit. This truck used to run a while back. It doesn't compete in Monster Gym anymore, but it did run a while back. You guys probably know that. But, uh, yeah, that is Radical Rescue. Um, here's what it looks like from the front. From the front, it kind of looks like a fire truck as well. But, uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. I don't really have much else to say. So let's get all four of the trucks right here. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, all four of these trucks, like I said, will be debuting in Sign-Up Series 176, which the sign-ups will probably be tomorrow, but if not, definitely by Monday, because Monday is Memorial Day, so I don't have school tomorrow, as does, uh, basically everybody in the United States of America doesn't have school on Monday, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Like I said, make sure to uh, subscribe if you guys are new. We're still two subs away from 1,600. And also leave a like on the video and turn on post notifications and leave a comment uh, letting me know your thoughts on these trucks. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.